Hello everybody, welcome. Today, we're going to create a simple React app to read Excel sheets. For this project, we're going to use a library called XLSX. It's a very powerful JavaScript library that is used in Google Sheets. With this project, we're going to read an Excel file, parse all the values into JSON objects, and later, we will see how to optimize reading performance while using this library. Stick around and watch till the end. Okay, let's create a simple app. npx create react app parse excel. Awesome. Now our packages are installed. Let's go into the folder, parse excel, npm start. Let's go to localhost 3000. Okay, let's go into our index.js. Great. Now I'm gonna quickly add a few components. Let's add the components folder. Let's add a home.jsx and parse excel.jsx. Let's add a simple body to both these components. So I'm going to remove our boilerplate code. And let's add install npm install react router dom. Okay, here we have some breaking changes, so let's audit and fix it. So while the project is being fixed, let's quickly add the routes and the paths for our home component and also the path to our park cell component. Put this under browser router. Once we do that, our application works, awesome. So we have two routes, once the home, once parse Excel, let's go to the parse Excel. And there we go, our routing works. Now let's go to parse Excel and we're gonna build our component here. So here, I'm gonna put an input type is equal to file. We're gonna build a file upload, which will take an Excel file. So let's take a file and on change, we're gonna pass the event, and we're gonna say handle file, and then let's close the tag. So let's come here, let's build a function, handle file, it takes uh, event, and let's console.log the file. E dot target sorry about that e dot target dot files of zero okay now let's save it let's open our file and here we have it okay so now let's go to the documentation for the XLSX and see how we can read the file. So here we'll have to first install XLSX. So let's install that. Let that install. Let's come here. Parsing workbooks. Here it is. Browser file upload form element. Okay, so this is the function. So I'm gonna copy the content. Let's close this. Okay, so we get the file, we get the data and read it into an array buffer, and then we parse the workbook. Now let's console.log the workbook to see if it works. Uh, before that, we will have to import SXLSX from 
x plus x. Let's save, go back. Oh, it's an async method, so let's give async. Awesome. So let's choose a file. And we have our Excel worksheet. So let's check it here. We have our sheet name. That is great. So now once we read the Excel worksheet, let's display a name right here. For that, we're going to use use date. Let's call it file name. We're going to set it to null. And we have to import use date from React. So right here, we're going to open file name and let's create a paragraph, file name, span, file name. Okay, let's see how it looks. Oh, before we do that, we'll have to set the file name right here. So let's come here, set file name, file.name. Let's go back to our browser. Let's select the name. And here we have it. Awesome. So now let's read all the data from our Excel sheet and parse it to JSON. So let's look at the documentation for that. Uh, where do we have it? Here it is. So this is the code for that. So let's go ahead come here and say const json data is equal to, let's base it, and here we're going to have to pass an Excel worksheet. So in order to get the worksheet, we'll have to say worksheet data, sorry, workbook of workbook.sheets of workbook dot sheet names let's get the first sheet and then we're gonna pass the worksheet here and once we parse that we'll, we'll get the JSON data now let's save go back to our file uploader let's upload and here we have it we have the parsed JSON data from our Excel sheet. So let's open one of the arrays and we have an array of arrays right here. We have the object. Let's open our Excel sheet, which is right here. And we have our SKU, our brand, our categories, link. That's awesome. So now we're reading the entire Excel sheet as a whole. That's a lot of data. Imagine a case where you'll have to read only the first five rows or the first ten rows or to just show a small preview. So let's see how to do that. So for that we're going to go back into our function. So we're going to come to this line. We're going to change this to read file. And this takes an object as a second parameter. And we're going to pass sheet rows. Let's read the first five rows. Let's save. Let's come to our application. Let's open this Excel sheet. And now here we have it. In this case, we only read the first four lines. But we passed five here, but we got only four. The reason behind is the, the component assumes the first row is always a header and uses that to map the items into an object key. So the first row is omitted, so we have only four rows. So we have a second scenario where we will have to read all the values rather than as an objects into an array. So we're going to read them into an array instead of an object. Let's see how to do that. So let's go back to our code. We're going to open another bracket in our sheet to JSON function. 
and we're going to pass header it's in the first row and we're going to pass the default value for our empty rows once we do that let's save let's open our file again let's open the console that's awesome in this case we have an array of arrays and each array has the value of each cell in the excel sheet so let's open the second array here we go that's awesome so now let's do something fun so now let's get only the first row and make the values show up in a drop-down list let's do that so for that we're gonna have to set a new use state column columns set columns and we're gonna say use state and we're gonna initialize it to an empty array and then once we come here we're gonna say set columns JSON data we're gonna set the first row that's great and once we set it we're gonna come here let's wrap the whole thing in a fragment you can open the second paragraph tag and we're gonna say columns select let's format it and inside here we're going to say columns dot map C goes to option value is equal to C and the label is just going to be C okay now let's save let's upload the file and here we have it once we uploaded it we have all the columns as our in our as an option in our excel file that's great thank you so much for watching take care